When you're playing a fighting game, you know, everybody likes their own unique style of character and things like that. So what is a character or what things do you look for in a fighting game character that you are looking forward to it being your main? Like, so when, you, when you're looking for a main character, uh, the person you're just basically going to be putting people in the dirt with, like, is it a particular style you're looking for? Do they just have to look a certain way? Do they have to have certain type of mechanics? What is it that you're looking for in a fighting game main? So... I'm guessing for Devin, it'd be somebody that just, you know, punches really hard and puts somebody's face in the floor. So, you know, we'll go ahead and take it to you, Devin. Let us know. Let us know what you're looking for. Um, So when I look at the, a fighting game character that I plan on uh, having as a mainstay, aesthetic-wise, I, I, I like for him to be, like, I don't want to say mysterious, but have, like, this kind of this kind of cool and collective vibe about him. Um. As far as gameplay mechanics, I, I definitely need them to be able to uh, control space decently, at least like have good like footsie buttons, like control like mid range and neutral good uh, movement. Also like movement, like if a character can move really good, they can just be mobile. I absolutely love it. Like I just love like Magneto in Marvel Three. Like he can plink dash. Anybody like the plink air dash is just the crazy movement. I love that type of stuff. Um, also. Um, I was about to say combos like I, i'm a big fan of combos so if they have some really swaggy combos something just cool some wall bounce ceiling bounce ground bounce floor bounce type stuff i'm just like i want i want to play this character i just like seeing that type of stuff uh especially in actual matches so yeah i, I think um to me it's just a, it's just about like a character that's calm cool and collected in the neutral uh, if he gets a hit confirmed, he can just take it to the, the corner and just have it have his way. Um, so yeah, I, I and it's kind of crazy because I, I think um, I don't really think I had this uh, this uh, formula for a character until like I started playing Street Fighter Four and I started playing Vega. And before then, I hated Vega. Like I don't know what it was about Vega and Street Fighter Two and Alpha in the Alpha series. I hated Vega, but when Four came out, Understand. I liked Vega. <laughs> But he just he was just cool to me. I just liked his buttons. Cause he just the crouching mediums. I was just like, man, I love his buttons. So that that just kind of gave me a love for Vega after that. Um, and some of his outfits in, in Street Fighter Four, like the the button shirt, the button up shirt with like the slack. I thought that was so cool with the mask and stuff. Um, so yeah, I, you know, he didn't have the greatest combos, but in terms of that aspect of neutral and like those good buttons, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, I would say like another example would be like in Blaze Blue, I started playing Raelius. He was just like this cool looking character, had this this puppet, um, cool looking moves, some awesome combos, like you bounce you forward up, it's just like all different kind of crazy stuff. So that in terms of combos is what I would kind of give an example. Um, so if you kind of mesh all those together, uh, neutral and buttons like Vega, combos like somebody like Raelius, movement like Magneto, I'm all for it. Um. When it comes to um, uh, fighting game characters, when I'm trying to choose a character, the thing that I usually like when uh, Devin just t- said about like a cool looking character, that's usually where I start. Um, I um, initially pick my characters uh, through rule of cool. And um, I think like uh, the most, uh, like the characters I choose are characters like, um, I usually have to balance it out a little bit because it has to be like rule of cool plus like how well I mesh with them in terms of like the mechanics and stuff like that. Uh, for instance, um, in Blaze Blue, like when I first started playing back, I started playing back during like uh, Cal- what was the first one? Um, Calamity Trigger, I think. Yeah. And in Calamity Trigger, I wanted to play. I started trying to play like Ragna. Didn't really like Ragna too much. Um, tried to play a uh, Bang Bang Shishigami. Didn't like Bang either. Um, but then I played uh, Ar- um, Arakune. And I was like, oh, you know what? This character's pretty cool. And then, you know, uh, like our sensibility, uh, my um, mechanic thing kind of match. I didn't know that he was one of the best characters in the game at that point. I was just kind of like, oh, he's kind of cool. And, you know, things kind of match up. So I'm, I'm good. People are like, yo, why do you keep using that character? I'm like, what? What do you mean? Arakune, he's cool. He's like one of the best. He's one of the top three. I'm like, oh, oh, I had no idea. I, rule of cool, man. Like, it just led me there. Um, like, back in, like, what was it? Um, 
in Tekken, what I used to do, I I used to use really cool. I didn't, I never found a character that I thought was cool enough in Tekken. I know some people would be like, "What the one?" But no, I really didn't think there were any really cool characters in the game until Tekken Four. Actually, like everybody was all right, but I didn't think there were any really really cool characters that looked really cool until Tekken Four when they had like Marduk and um and uh, Steve Fox. You know, I thought they were, I thought those were the really cool characters in the game. So I started playing Steve Fox. And then until Tekken 6, when the bet and then the other cool, coolest character, in my opinion, came out was uh, Miguel. So I started playing Miguel. He's really strong. He's got a really cool, he's a really cool character. He just, does, he's, he's just an awesome character in general. Like, I love Miguel. He's great. Um, Soul Calibur, I played with Nightmare and Tekken, and Soul, no, Tekken, Soul Calibur 2. He was really cool in Soul Calibur 2. Then Soul Calibur 3 came out. And then Zoss Salmel was the um, coolest character to me. Then, um, he was the coolest character in Soul Calibur 4, and then they didn't have him in Soul Calibur 5, and then I started playing with Astaroth, and then I was like, you know what, Astaroth's a pretty cool character, and then Soul Calibur 6 came out, and they brought back the Salomel, didn't like how he played, so I stuck with um, Astaroth. Um, yeah, man, it's all rule of cool to me, man. It's for, most, most of it is rule of cool, like, but it's not necessarily the coolest character in the game, it's the cool character that I think is the coolest. So, like, in Guilty Gear, one, per, one might say that Zappa is not the coolest character in the game, but he's the coolest character to me. I think he's a, I think he's a great character. The whole ghost mechanic thing is really cool, um, uh, especially when you get out Rao, the um, the lightning ghost that has like the like that's what basically looks like the um, the the headless horseman's big brother. Like that, that that man, that is awesome. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all it takes for me. You know, um, Skullamania, but one of the coolest characters in the game, and um, uh, what you call it, a fighting EX layer. Yep, that guy, he's really cool too. Uh, especially those grabs that he does. Amazing. Yep, I definitely definitely say that, yeah, it's all about rule of cool for me, man. With a little bit of balance of like uh, game mechanics. So yeah, rule of cool is number one 